Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now I will make something different, namely a podcast. Of course, not an ordinary podcast because I will bring in trust, trusted sources. We just invite sources person today. And Unggul. Hello Unggul, how are you bro? Uh, hello Tommy, I feel good today. How about you? I'm fine too. Mm, okay Unggul. I have a few questions that many of our friends and my subscriber have asked too. What's that? Since we are approaching to the 2024 presidential election, many people have started to think about who the best candidate for the leader will be elected later. And the question is, what do you think about a good leader for this for this country? Okay. In my opinion, the good leader who appropriate for lead this country is who have a vision and mission that can advance this country. Not just a theory, but they must implement that vision and mission during his tenure. Mm. How if all candidates have a good vision and mission for this country? If all candidates have a good vision and mission, from my subjective point of view, I still can definitely judge the best from the vision and mission they convey. But there are also many candidates whose vision and mission are good, but after being elected, they divide from the vision and mission that he conveyed. Ah, that's sometimes true. That's why I don't only look at their vision and mission. But I also need to see their track record whether they are people who always keep their promises or not. If they have a best vision and mission but not uh, implement that vision and mission, everything will be in vain. So in conclusion, according to you, a good and true leader is a leader who has a good vision and mission in advising the country and will carry out the vision and mission that was conveyed after being ele elected. This can be seen by looking at the track record of the person being honest or not, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, now we are going to the question and and answer and ask for session. If I choose one of the questions that were asked on my Instagram story, what do you think about the vice president who looks like he's not doing anything? And it can be said that the president doesn't need a vice president. So this question is addressed to me and you too. Starting from me, in my opinion, yes, as an ordinary person, I agree because I have never seen a vice president do anything. So why should there be a vice president? I don't agree with you. Sorry. Maybe ordinary people don't know what the vice president is doing uh, because it's not published. But in my opinion, if we look deeper, for example, when Bela Negara, uh, it turns out the, that the vice president has his own activities that are not visible to the public, such as uh, military conscription which is supervised by the vice president directly and every day the vice president travels to many Iceland to carry out his duties and it's not exposed to the public that's why uh, you see the vice president doing nothing because his activities are not exposed to the public like the president oh being a vice president is a lot of work isn't it yes it is but because it's not exposed to the public, the vice president looks like he has done nothing in the eyes of the public. Oh, okay. Maybe because I or many people don't pay attention. We think the vice president is not doing anything, even though he has done a lot of good things for this country. Yeah. That's just that's only my opinion based on what I've seen from Bela Negara video and uh, news such as uh, Tribune News and other. Okay, Unggul, then thank you for coming here.
I learned a lot of new things today. I can conclude overall that a good leader can be seen from his vision and mission and the track record also determines whether the person will be trustworthy in carrying out his vision and mission. Yeah, you're welcome, Tommy. I also get a lot of new learning after discussing with you. Okay, I think that I'll talk for my... I think that... I think that's enough from us. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.